The Indian Pariah Dog is one of the most ancient, naturally evolved dogs in the world. In this video, I will tell you all you need to know about the Indian Pariah Dog. I would love to thank Chile for letting me use its photos in this video. If you will like this breed and you would love to see more of it, definitely check him out. Link is in description. Number 1. Natural Selection The Indian Pariah Dog is not a purebred dog which is professionally bred in breeding stations. No, this is Aboriginal land race, a naturally selected breed living on the Indian subcontinent. That is the reason why there are big appearance differences in Indian Pariah Dogs. Number 2. Other Names the Indian Pariah Dog is also commonly known under some other names like Pie Dog, South Asian Pie Dog or Desi Dog. Lately, they are also commonly referred to as Ind Dog, which is an acronym for Indian Native Dog. All these names are describing the same dog breed. Number 3. Original Dogs Today, majority of the Inn dogs are actually mixed breeds, especially around the locations where European colonists historically settled in in India. And those dogs are sometimes very similar to some European breeds. But originally, the Inn dogs had erect ears, wedge shaped head and naturally curved tail. They had let's say a spitz like appearance and they are similar to other primitive breeds. But today, majority of these dogs in urban areas do not match the original pariah type. You would have to go to the rural parts of India where you can still find them. Number 4. Companions even though these dogs evolved naturally to be independent animals living in packs, they actually make amazing companions. These dogs are very social and most of them live near human settlements. They should be socialized early if you want to keep them around other animals or children, but they are normally good with them. The Indian pariah dogs are very smart and they are easily trainable, but they also get bored easily. They love exploring and playing interactive games rather than long training sessions or repetitive games such as fetch. Number 5. Protectors These dogs are naturally very territorial, protective and not very trusting towards strangers. This is why they are oftentimes used as great guards. They are very cautious of their surroundings and they will bark if they will see or hear something suspicious. Overall, these dogs tend to be pretty noisy and vocal. Number 6. Exercise Important thing to mention is that these dogs are quite lively and active. Most of them will love long walks, jogs and even swims. If you will not provide them with enough exercise, they can develop unwanted behavior such as excessive barking and destruction. Number 7. Maintenance Great fact is that it's very easy to groom and maintain the end dog. They do shed but it's nothing crazy and they require almost no grooming. Their coat will stay in good shape even without brushing. They are naturally very clean and do not have much of the typical doggy odor. They are also modest eaters and they can eat and survive on almost any food but of course you should feed them with quality dog food. Number 8. Pie Dog even though it's very important to distinguish the original Indian pariah hound from Indian street dog, which is very often a mix of Indian pariah hound, these days the term pie dog or pariah hound is very often used to describe a half wild dog without an owner, which lives near human settlements. This term is not only used on Indian subcontinent, but all over the South Asia, for example in Taiwan or Malaysia. Number 9. Adoption The Indian pariah dogs, or better to say the mixes of Indian pariah dogs, are very easy to adopt and you should consider adopting them if you are looking for a new dog. It's very common and popular to buy foreign, mostly European breeds in India and some other Asian countries. And those dogs are great, let's say German Shepherds or Dobermans. But the Indian pariah dogs and some other local Indian breeds such as Rajapalayam, Kani and Janangi are cultural heritage of India and they should be preserved and you can have Help it by adopting them. Number 10. Health Great fact is that the Indian pariah dogs tend to be extremely healthy. Being a naturally evolved breed, they have very few health concerns. Because there is no interbreeding and the gene pool is extremely large, they do not suffer much from the typical doggy problems such as hip dysplasia. The average lifespan is around 15 years. 
Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Indian pariah dog and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.